It's been a difficult couple of months since yesterday's episode, but can I get our season going today as we play Wolves? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And yep guys, we've got Wolves at home in the league today. Should be a very interesting game. And so let's go and get straight into it and have a look at all the results since you was last with me. Which was for that opening day win at home against Newcastle. Very comfortable win, very happy with the performance I was. And I was hoping things were going to carry on like that. But as you can see, no such luck. The next game, we drew with my club, West Ham United. Ian Acho gave us an early lead. And so I really thought we was going to push on and make it two out of two. But unfortunately, Yarmolenko popped up with a very nice goal. And so that finished a draw. Still wasn't too unhappy. West Ham, we're a good side this year. So taking a point off us, I'm very happy with that. But what I was not happy with was the first half of the game against Liverpool. Or namely saying the first 33 minutes. Because as you can see, they was 1-0 up within 4 minutes and then 3-0 up within 33 minutes. It was an awful, disastrous first half. I changed the tactics around to a more sort of 4 2 3 one is formation. The formation I've been using on the FM League. Which, if you haven't noticed, I, or if you haven't seen, I am the manager of the month for the two-game FM League this month. Hurrah! But anyway, I went to that tactic, and in the second half, we did get it back to 3-2, and I pushed everything forward, trying to grab an equaliser. But it wasn't to be, and so, unfortunately, we lost that game. And then, we threw out the youngsters and the reserves in the Carabao Cup against Crawley. And they got us a very nil, very nice three nil win. So I was very, very happy with that. And then we got a result against Tottenham, which was on the face of it one one. I'd been very happy with that, but I honestly thought we was going to nick a win because, as you can see, Vardy got himself sent off in the 28th minute. But then in the 79th, Damari Gray scored a beautiful goal to put us 1-0 up with 10 minutes remaining. And then it wasn't until the 93rd minute that they got a penalty and Harry Kane, of course, did what Harry Kane does and he put the ball in the back of the net. I was so, so gutted. This first couple of months could have been so different if we'd just held on for that extra minute or two. And so speaking of disappointing results, this, the 90th minute, 1-0, we lost to Fulham. Andre, Frank, Zambo, Anguissa, have you got enough names, sir? And oh my days, 90th minute, I was so gutted. But then we did get back to winning ways, winning ways, because I went to... Uh, I went to the other tactic, I went to a 4-2-3-1 tactic, that's what I went to. And it worked very nicely against Cardiff. We was in complete control of the game ever since we scored our first goal to equalise it. From Kenneth Shahor's absolute thunderbolt of a goal. He shot the ball from 30 yards out and it pinged the underside of the bar, come bouncing down just behind the line. It was an absolute screamer of a goal. But we did manage to rectify matters. Damari Gray with a couple of goals either side of half time. So that was very, very pleasing to see. But then last two games, we again threw out most of the youngsters and most of the reserves against Peterborough. Because I thought we should be good enough to beat them. But unfortunately we wasn't. They again, the third game in a row I think that is. A late goal has cost us. Or well, three out of the last four games. A late goal has cost us. Ivan Tony got an equaliser for Peterborough in the 92nd minute. And then on penalties, it did finish to, with them winning it. I was very, very gutted. Jason Naismith scoring the crucial goal for Peterborough. So that ends our Carabao Cup adventure. And then against Arsenal... Again, we was free. Was was we three 0 down? Yes, we was. We was three 0 down by those Spencer. Do your maths. 34, 87, 90, 83. 
we was what, 1-1? One, one. Yep, we was 1-1, one, one, and then they made it 3-1 by the 90th minute, and then Jamie Vardy popped up with one in the 94th minute to get it back to 3-2. And then our latest game against Burnley, again, this is something I'm only just noticing now. Late goals are costing us. Okay, this is something I'm going to work on. Because as you can see, we took the lead in the 61st minute. Jamie Vardy once again having a party. And then Johan Berg Goodmanson equalising in the 87th minute. So a lot of late, late goals are costing us. That's something to think about. Something to concentrate on in today's game. And if we get into the tactics, I'm going to show you the lineup for said game. The game is in two days, but barring any injuries, this is what the team will be. Sir Michael, Tilwell, Klein, Cahill and Maguire. Cahill I've put in because, if we just have a very quick look. Da -da 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 I'm going to find it. Scout report, scout assignments. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Ah, is it in the inbox? Scout report, scout report, scout report. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, because scout report, if we go weaknesses, I think it is. Yeah. I never noticed just how in-depth these scout reports are. But look at this. Wolves' weakness. The overall quality of passing within the squad remains disappointing. Cahill's ability to win the ball back may be able to help exploit this. So because of that little piece of, piece of advice, that's why I've stuck Cahill in. And so alongside him, we've obviously got Harry Maguire, then Klein at right back, Drinkwater and Silva in the middle of the midfield. And then Albrighton, Madison and Gray on the right-hand side. And then Jamie Vardy up top. So like I say, barring any injuries, that is going to be the team. And I'll be back with you for the start of the game. Alright guys, we're back. And it is indeed time for the Wolves game. As you can see, according to the bookies, we are the favourites. Despite Wolves being higher in the table and having a better form at the moment. But hopefully we can prove the bookies right and we can get a win today. It's us in 16th against Wolves in 12th. So maybe if we win, we might be able to go above them. I'm not too sure. I've not checked the league table too much yet. And so here are the lineups. Us with our, us with our 4 2 3 one. Wolves with their 5 2 2 one. I think you call that or 5 2 three. The game's calling that. And so, should be an interesting game. Neves should be dangerous, as always. Hopefully, we can keep him quiet. And as ever, all to make the opposition instructions. Go assertive. The media have been on your back for ages. And yet, that's got them all motivated. So, let's go crack on into the game. And yeah, we struggled. But our bad luck has to end somewhere. And I'm very hopeful it's going to be today. And no idea about Ivan Cavallero. I'm focusing on what we can do. Yeah, I'm looking for a free-flowing attacking game. And yep, the players just all lined up. Let's go get this game of football kicked off. Vardy, back to Madison. Wide to Chilwell. Is this going to get over the halfway line before the highlight ends? It does. But not very far, is it, people? So, four or five minutes in. First highlight of the game. All Brighton. Heads it and Madison just about gets it back to his teammate. But Gray loses it there. And that's Otto with it. Can we win it back, please? Put him under some pressure. And he's crossed that across his own box. That's a bit that's a bit brave. And so now Wolves on the counter. Held a Costa. But our man Chilwell there with a great little interception. And now Cahill with the ball to drink water. And can he put the ball out wide? Silver. Silver just gives it away there. What was he thinking? And now it's them coming forward again. Diogo with the ball. And Klein there with a great tackle. And Klein now coming forward with the ball. Overlaps past his winger. Plays it inside to Madison. And can Madison get this ball to a teammate? He does. It's all Brighton. Can he beat a man? He does it. He goes for the cross. And it goes to Klein. Klein beats his man. Crosses it into the box. And Jamie Vardy. Do, 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 do. Jamie Vardy's having a party. Do, 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 do. Yes. Jamie Vardy gives Leicester the lead after just five and a half minutes. It was a very, very nice move. Klein there doing all the hard work, beating his man. Then it was a very, very easy tapping for the party man. And so, 
10 minutes in, we've had two shots to their none. And as we go with another highlight, and that's Madison with the ball. He cuts inside, he shoots, and oh, just over the bar. This is looking very, very good. And now Albrighton with a throw in. And it gets headed away, but Madison collects it on the byline. Goes to Damari Gray, hits their man, goes back to Albrighton. Drinkwater on the edge of the box, and oh, there's been better shots than that, hasn't there, people? 15 minutes gone now. We are absolutely bossing this game. I'm really impressed with how we're playing. Six shots to their none. A three on target to their none. Really, no pressure from Wolves at all. But now, having said that, here come Wolves. They're going to hit us on the counter, aren't they? Helder Costa to Raul. Raul Jimenez, he crosses the ball in. And Klein heads it away. Nicely done, Klein. And Damari Gray... With the with the ball goes to drink water to silver, and that's really killed any speed we had in the attack, hasn't it, people? So now all Brighton to drink water, ball over the top, and nicely done there. Chilwell's onto it. He's crossed it in, but it gets headed away. Goes to James Madison on the edge of the box to Damari Gray, and it's two 0 Damari Gray doubles our lead. And this is a much better performance than what we've had in the last few weeks. Damari Gray with his fourth goal of the season. Nice to see him and Madison linking up. If them two get a good partnership going, they could be very dangerous this year. And yes, Damari Gray's goal there. Passed it outstretched hands of the keeper. And if we can get another one before half time, I'm going to say that is game over, surely. So now 33 minutes gone. Wolves have only had that one shot on target. We've had 60% of the possession. And I'm just going to praise the lads. See what that does. Oh, Joe Moutinho now with the free kick. And it's, it's their man there with a the header. But we just about scramble it away. As that was, yeah, that was very, very much on the line. I don't think anybody ever thought that that was actually in. And so the lads are fired up by the praise. And we've had some very, very good performances in that first half. And if we just have a look at the match stats. 13 shots to Wolves 4. 4 shots on target to their 1. 58% of the ball. Very, very nicely done. I am so happy with how this is going. I'm going to go past it. I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up, lads. And have a look at some of these ratings. Who's that on the 8.2? Damari Gray. That's very nice to see. And we've got, we got a 7.2 from Chilwell. And Klein as well on the 7.1 as well as Vardy. So, a few players playing very well. And that's why we are in the lead. As now Neves, who's been really quiet today, gives the ball back to Bolly To Cody. And now it's Costa on the halfway line. Now he's cutting inside. And he goes for a cross. And it's Diogo Jota. Trying to pick the ball up. He crosses it in. And yes, nicely done, Chilwell. And Drinkwater levers that clear. And that goes out for a throw in. Now, 50 minutes gone of the game. Any changes need to be made just yet? I don't think so. As Wolves now with the corner. And it gets headed in by Rayall. But goes out. Only change I might make is Albrighton. He's been a little bit disappointing. Might see what we've got on the bench to bring bring on for him. As indeed, that's what I'm going to do now. And so, tactics. And then all Brighton. Have we got anyone who can play in this position? Uh, Traore, of course we have. So, bring the Traore on. See what he can do for the last 20 minutes or so. Uh, yeah, leave the formation as is. So, go confirm the sub. And might, be, might look to give Vardy a rest in about 10-15 minutes time. So, now Damari Gray with the ball. Back to Klein, to Gray, to Drinkwater. Drinkwater oh, takes way too long on the ball there and loses it. And now it's held Acosta on the counter for Wolves. And he's gone past his defender there. And he's gone past another one. And oh my gosh, what a goal that is. Oh my gosh, I know that's been scored against us. But that is a wonderful goal. Absolutely awful defending from us though. Let's have a look at this. Who's the first man there? That's Cahill, who I was told would be able to win the ball back. 
Uh, no. And so then that's got to be Maguire. Yeah, it is. That's Maguire who he's done there. And wow. Okay. Okay, so now I am looking to go maybe balanced. Do I go balanced this early? Oh, I don't know. I don't want another late goal to cost us a win. Yeah, we're going to go balanced. And also, I'm going to drop Madison into the centre of the midfield. And bring on Ibora for him. Or do I go? Do I go for pretty much the other tactic I, I was using? And go for something like that? I say, yeah, go for that. And then leave it unbalanced. And then confirm them changes. And so, 10 minutes just about left. Can we hold on to this win? I'm going to go encourage the lads. There's now five minutes left. Oh, no, no, no. Moutinho with a free kick. And, oh, that just curls over the bar. I saw it again there for a minute. Yet another goal, late goal costing us. But most of your team are frustrated by the encouragement. That's a bit weird. But now Sir Michael, with a free kick, whips it out wide to Klein. Only 30-odd seconds left to go. Gray to Silva. Silva with the ball. Can he play it? He doesn't. Drink water. He absolutely whacks it out there. That's a poor pass from the lad. But hopefully that should be the last highlight. But now it's them with the throwing. And that is indeed the last highlight. We've got ourselves a first win for a couple of games. That's very, very nice to see. Jamie Vardy and Damari Gray with the goals. And yes, very, very nice performance. 21 shots to 12. 7 on target to 3. 52% of the ball in the end. But yes, we have got a win. And I'm going to go team talk. I'm going to go passionate. I'm going to go very nice victory. And yes, everyone is delighted. And so, guys, that is where I'm going to leave it for today, guys. Uh, we've got Huddersfield in our next game. I'm not going to be doing that on camera. I'm going to skip through again, maybe another seven, eight games. Let's see what that brings us up to. So that's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven. Yeah, so either Brighton or Watford, I think I'm going to bring to you next week. Because this series is going to be just a weekend series. And also, for the first few weekends, seeing as it's Christmas over the next couple of weeks, uh, I'm going to be doing just videos. But then in the new year, I'm considering doing an, a video episode on the Saturday and doing a live stream either here on YouTube or Twitch on the Sunday. So if you let me know what you guys would prefer, let me know down below. And yeah, guys, uh, follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. If you've enjoyed that video, give, give me a subscription down below and hit the little bell button, if you do, to get notified every time I release a new video. And now the, the league table is looking a little better now. 11th in the table. And so, yeah, guys, I'm Bad Jokes Gaming. I am out.